Well, good morning. It's October the 23rd. I'm gonna get some tools loaded up here. We're gonna see if we can't get some more stuff taken out of that barn we've been working on. So, let's go. These are 20 foot long sections of roofing metal. So we took all that off. There's probably 20 some sheets of that. So all of our roofing on our barns and shelters and stuff we'll be building and maybe even use some for uh, siding. Uh, we got a real good supply of that and also we're gonna be working more today and we'll take you along today. Maybe we'll have a little bit more time. We got some T111 board. It's a bunch of two befores I cut out. Um, so yeah, we're kind of scavenging this barn out before they tear it down. It all goes in dumpsters to the landfill. We're, this one's out and has a landscaping in front of this barn. So we're gonna try to make a fire pit with these. Hopefully there'll be enough to do pretty good uh, circle for a fire pit. Looks like there will be. We'll go to, go four high and maybe like an eight or ten foot circle and uh, burn fires out here. It's out of here. Enjoy it. Uh, I'll pressure wash them all off with a little moldy and stuff from sitting for years. But pressure wash or take all that black and green stuff right off. Be good as new. We'll make us a nice circle of those. The beans still haven't come out. We're anxiously anticipating that to happen. Um, to get the beans to come out so we can get started on our fence post and start getting uh, stuff ready for animals next year. For more animals. We got three pigs coming and these are a bunch of telephone poles that we got uh, resourced from they were free also from when the power company came down through here and replaced a bunch of um, telephone poles. I went out and talked to them and they just dropped them off in my yard. So lots of good corner posts sitting there. And that'll be a video. It'd be fun to make. There's a chicken tractor. We've got layers in there right now. Got that fixed up a little bit with some roosting poles and couple nesting boxes they've been laying a few eggs this week we're gonna be back at the barn today taking stuff down that'll be a more video we'll see what we'll get into yesterday was such a big day we was trying to do so much and so little time that we didn't take any time to video taking it apart I uh, I just see a real need to anytime you can reuse repurpose besides the fact it saves you a lot of money but some of this stuff, I don't even know what I'm going to use it for. It'll just be here stored until the right project arrives. But uh, we'll have it. And it'll be saved from going to landfill. So that's the plan. Got our firewood stack here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to, I got a bunch of short 4 by 4s cut. A little bit wider than this metal. And we're going to lay them down here on the ground. And we're going to lay that metal out in the same line with that firewood. That's an update of what we've been doing. So we're getting the metal off here. So this is the process. When they took these screws out, they kind of just fell down in these valleys of this roofing. So the boys are taking the screws off so they don't fall in the yard, get a flat tire and a mower tractor someday eventually. We're saving those in this 
animal cracker bucket and then after they get one cleaned off i'm sliding it off so we got a little system worked out here to uh get this job done fast and efficiently thank god for my boys's help they are tremendous workers So we have been talking about the barn that's getting torn down that we're able to get stuff off of. I'm getting ready to show it to you. This is it. Now this back low roof, that's an addition. That wasn't a part of the original barn. That's an addition onto it that they built after they moved the barn over here. Now the white metal that you guys seen that we videoed, that was all on top of that flat roof. We come in here the other day and uh, the boys by themselves got up there, unscrewed that all, all that tin off that roof. And um, I helped them load it and we got it done. And then the T111 board was the other thing. All this, these walls here had two befores, which I took out, but there was two before wall down through here, built up against this uh, metal. And then it had T111 board, like what's on the back wall. It was here. But it was half inch or it was three quarter inch thick t111 so um i took it all off and saved it we are able to pull out these three quarter inch thick pieces of plywood off the walls in there we'll be salvaging all of that we're using it it's exterior grade three quarter inch these are trim boards i popped a few off i may get some more if i have the time uh, some of them cedar some of them's pine like this one here it looks to be cedar all right first load for today got several sheets of that plywood um, about two foot wide a few pieces of trim we probably come back for more of that and then more of them pavers from the other day so that's gonna be for our fire pit all right load number one <laughs> 